Hello. Um, I'm going to be looking at an example of a double integral over a general region. And by general region, we mean more along the lines of regions that are, are in a rectangular. And in this one, this is a, a triangular region. And we went ahead and sketched our, uh, our region right here. And we look at our limits right here and we see in the graph and we see that y is bounded by y variable by 0 and x and our x is bounded by 0 and pi and right here we see that uh, our y variable is uh, isn't bounded by a uh, by constants, right here, x is variable, so we're integrating with respect to y first along this line right here, and we're choosing our x limits to be to where they uh, they add up all these lines going across, and that's the idea with the double integrals when you calculate volume. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and take a look at this, how we're going to integrate this. So, just draw a little line. Okay. So, we're going to end up getting, put in our x limits of integration right here. And we're going to get x times minus cosine of y. Evaluated our upper limits and our lower limits times our differential dx and we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and uh, enter in these limits and we're gonna get 0 to pi minus x cosine x minus minus x and you get a minus and a minus so that's going to become positive <coughs> times our differential dx and this is going to equal to minus x cosine x plus y times our differential dx and right here we're going to have to use integration by parts but we can use um, this little shortcut instead of having to write out all these integral signs and it becomes easy to integrate we just make two little columns whichever function we're going to differentiate and integrate and usually you want to you want to pick the function you're going to differentiate that's going to eventually disappear and become a constant and then we take a derivative that's going to be zero. So right here we're going to choose our x to be the variable we differentiate and our cosine the one that we integrate. So we got x and we got cosine x here and this is easy to differentiate. We get minus one, and we get a zero. And here we're going to integrate cosine x, and we get a sine x. And we're going to integrate once more, and we get minus cosine x. And right here, put it in a different color. Okay. Right here we're going to add these, and these we're going to subtract. So let's go ahead and uh, put these in. So we end up getting minus x sine x minus cosine x plus <clears throat> x squared over 2 evaluated at our upper limits and our lower limits which is x equals pi 
and x equals 0. And plugging these values in, we get 0 plus 1 plus pi over 2 over 2 minus 0 minus 1 and this comes out to pi squared I'm sorry about that pi squared plus 2 and we're done but if you want to combine this into one fraction you can put this as <clears throat> 2 over pi squared plus 4 and this is what we get after we integrate this out 